Hello, hello, and welcome back to Devlog. In this series, we're developing payroll software from scratch. In this episode, we're implementing a flow for admins to create nobility pay accounts for their employees and invite them to onboard themselves. This episode combines both the admin and employee self-serve apps but do not worry if you're new to the series, I'm sure you can follow along. Alright, let's get started. Our flow begins in the admin app. In the previous episode, we set up a server action to handle employee creation when the underlying nobility pay user already exists. Now, if the user does not exist, we'll create one and send out an invite to the employee. This invite has a long CUID so it can't be brute forced, it has the user ID, and whether or not it's still active. And that's about it for the admin app, the rest of the flow will continue from the self-serve app, so let's switch over. Alright, on the self-serve app, I have created a new route for account activation, which takes in the invite ID as the only parameter. On this page, we check that the invite and the associated user models exist, otherwise we redirect the user to the dashboard. If the invite is not active, meaning it has already been used, or if the user already has a password set, we return a card saying that the account has already been activated. Otherwise, we return a simple card explaining what this invite link is and the form for account activation. Nothing too fancy, the form is a simple React component that calls a new server action with the invite ID parameter and the user's new email and password. The form itself has three fields, email, password, and confirm password. Easy peasy, some would even say lemon squeezy. The server action, activate user account, does a query to find the invite model along with the user relationship, and as before, if the invite does not exist or if the user already has a password, we return an error. Otherwise, we update the user model with the new email and hashed password. Finally, we update the invite to be no longer active, and once we set up our mail service, we'll need to send out a security notification to the employee that their account has been activated. Alright, alright, that is all the code. Time for a demo. New card. What do you think? Whoa, very nice. Look at that. Starting off in the admin app, we'll create a new employee with a birth date and SIN number that do not match any existing nobility pay users. Perfect, that went through. Now if we look in the database, we can see a new invite has been created. Let's copy the ID and on the self-serve app, we'll navigate to slash activate slash ID. Alright, let's zoom in to see this beautiful card that greets us by saying, Hello John, welcome to Nobility Pay. Your employer, Ralph Lauren, has created an account for you. All you need to do is select an email and password. Below that, I have included a note warning the user that they should use a personal email address for their Nobility Pay account in case their work email becomes inaccessible. You know, getting fired or quitting inaccessible. Yo, and for you freaky folks out there, we got light mode. I don't know why you would use it, but we got it. Alright, let's complete the form and activate our account. Beauty, look at that, a confirmation card is shown letting me know that the account has been activated and that I can now log into the application. Alright, elephant in the room, the gif, I know, I, I don't know, I think it adds some personality, you know? We'll see, we'll see. Clicking login redirects us to the general login page, which does not have dark mode yet. I'm terribly sorry to my investors, I'll add this ASAP. But hey, look at that, we can now log into the self-serve app and see the employee's information. What an absolutely beautiful, streamlined process, am I right, am I right? I cannot wait for employees to onboard themselves with a simple link in their email. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Devlog. We set up a cross-app flow for our vendors to create accounts for their employees, and once we set up our email service, we can complete this flow and others throughout the product. 
I hope you enjoyed this episode and maybe learned something along the way. Please make sure to subscribe to follow along and see where this project goes. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.